Today, we're going to take a look at one of the Premier League's biggest clubs. Manchester United. Nope. Liverpool. Nope. Chelsea. Nope. Oh, oh my God. Crystal Palace. <laughs> Me. No, today's Premier League big club is Newcastle United. Get out of my room! OK, so anyone born after, what, 96? Probably doesn't see Newcastle as a big club. But they've brought us some of the biggest names in English football. Gaza, Waddle, Beardsley, Ginella, that guy who punched a horse. The glory days are over. When we think of Newcastle, we don't think of Alan Shearer, Jackie Milburn or Andy Cole. We just think massive mugs. Whoa, a bit harsh. No, literally, mugs. Fit her up, mate. The pride of their city is now run by a cockney businessman. Sugar? No, that was Tottenham, mate. For Newcastle fans, the heydays were the mid-90s. Ah, uh, yes, the balmy summer of 96 when Newcastle broke the world record transfer fee for Alan Shearer. Fast forward to 2018, and who are Newcastle signing now? Salomon Rondon on loan from West Brom. Who's repaid the favour by scoring? Mm, no. <laughs> Wait, didn't he get one of the Carabao Cup? Doesn't count. I haven't seen a dry patch like this since Toby Tarrant during Freshers' Week. It's <laughs> <laughs> our face. Rejection City. Mike Ashley promised to reinvest all the profits back into the club. He purchased Fabian Shah, Frederico Fernandez, Yoshinori Muto, and House of Fraser. So where's the excitement of 90s Newcastle? Um, I don't know. We've got a point, Dave. They're not what they used to be. You're right, my little rule fox. <laughs> but their one shining light is the manager, Rafa Benitez, the world's first Geordie Saint. Newcastle, in the words of your own Kevin Keegan, don't ever give up on your club. But he's not a Geordie. Shh. Have you washed your hands? No.